Welcome back everyone to another Try It Out Tuesday, the series where we take different filmmaking techniques or editing styles and we try them out on a Tuesday. This week's video is going to be about automotive photography. I thought it'd be kind of cool to bring you guys along with me on one of my shoots so you guys can see and hear what I'm thinking about as I'm taking these pictures. I hope you guys enjoy this one and without further ado, let's try it out. Here we are in my 2014 Audi S5. It is an all-wheel drive, three liter V6 engine with a supercharger on top, which is a fancy way of saying that it's pretty quick and it sounds decent. Let's go for a drive and I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. So we are in downtown. There's a nice little street here. That's like a, a one way kind of dead end street. And I think this is gonna be a pretty solid spot to get started. So let's take a look here. So there's that super cool old building in the background. I don't know if you guys can see that over there. Kind of gravelly in the background, some train tracks. And this is the location for today. So starting off with this guy, this is the 85. So let's warm up get started nice and easy let's check out different angles here see what we got that's not bad maybe even back a little bit further that's kind of cool all right let's start snapping them out boom the gravel in the background let's angle you guys up a little bit because when I bend down you lose it how's that can you guys see that so really cool thing about this 85 is you can get really close to stuff and it kind of accentuated the details so the first thing I'm looking at here is the wheel so Let's get a nice shot of the wheel with the front of the car. Maybe like here, boom, look at that. I like that one a lot, wow. And now we can get even closer and bust out one of these guys. Just like that, awesome. Maybe go for some badges now. So the S5 Audi logo, all those are good ones to do. That's nice for the S5 logo. I don't know if you guys can see that. That looks really nice. Unfortunately, where I live, we have to have front number plates, which really sucks, but what are you gonna do? All right, move around the angles a little bit, maybe just a straight on guy like this. Nice and low. So I really wanna have the car in like the lower right third, so there's room in front of the car. So you gotta kinda of move around a little bit to get that exactly the way you want. Okay, maybe we'll do a little interior business now. the window down and let's see what we can do through this window here a nice close-up on the wheel hey, you guys definitely cannot see this angle at all sweet so I think it's time for a lens change now so start out with the 85 you very quickly realize that you need to be standing so far back and sometimes you just want to get some nice close-up picks so we're gonna toss on the 24 and continue with that guy all right now we're into the wide angle Ooh, a trains coming by let's get the train in it quick so you guys can see how much wider this shot is, right? I can go vertical from here and still get the entire car. So the audio is gonna be destroyed by this train, but basically I'm just gonna put it into high and bang out a bunch of pictures all in a row and we'll see what we can get. Here we go. Before we run out of train, let's get a quick video because I'm gonna need some behind the scenes for this. Oh, I just about missed it. So I wish I had a bit more time today. I need to head back to my place in a little bit. But I uh, I really want to try to get some video with this new uh, Weeble S gimbal. I've had it for maybe two weeks or a week and a half now. And I want to try it out. I've, I've of course played with it inside my house, right? But if I can get some footage with it out here, then that just sounds like it's a good time to me. All right, here we go. I'm just running this in autofocus right now. We got stock motor settings, everything right out of the box as it comes. That shot looked pretty good. Nice slow walk backwards. All right, so we're gonna start low with this one. Manual focus now and here we go. Nice crane shot. 
Boom. That was a sexy one. All right, let's go for some details now. Nice. All right, let's get a little V6T action going. Cool, let's do some wheel shots. Sweet, headlights now. A little bit lower too, so we get a couple extra angles. Sweet. Let's go taillights now. Oh, that's kind of nice. Start up high and drop it. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment of Try It Out Tuesday. Don't forget to leave your suggestions for what we should try out next week in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.